Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Now today I want to show you a beautiful miniature by Noble Collection. If you don't know what I'm talking about then you missed my last Severus Saturday vlog which you can check out right here and I showed you around my beautiful glass cabinets. So for me this is where the magic starts. <laughs> my last Severus Saturday vlog, you missed the stunning tour that I did of my beautiful glass cabinets. What on earth was that all about? You should have watched it. If you have missed it, then check it out. The link will be above here. It is such a lovely tour and I take you around some of the beautiful items I have in very, very good detail. But one of those items for me really stood out. I did a poll, you know me, I love my polls. Um, and they're not the ones that you dance around, they're the ones you put on Facebook and they ask whether you like that one or you like that one. And I like that one, and I like that one. And I put it up whether you'd like me to do my very first lot of collectibles that I started getting, or the amazing replica of Hogwarts Castle by Noble Collection. It is absolutely incredible. I love it. It is so, so incredibly detailed. The Hogwarts Castle miniature by Noble Collection. You know me, I love my Noble Collection. So. This is what my video is all about today. However, we're gonna give you a Guinness World Record update because that's the kind of girl I am. So what is happening at the moment with Guinness? Now I know you guys are like, for goodness sake, has she done it? What's she go? What's she doing? Has she submitted the evidence yet? What is Guinness doing? Can they hurry up and do it? Well, yes, I have submitted the evidence as of last Sunday. <gasps> it's really scary. <laughs> All the evidence, it took me ages to get it all together because you have to do it all one by one and I couldn't do it how they wanted because when I did upload it, it went all hickledy-pickledy and all jumbled up. So I downloaded everything, all the logbooks, all the evidence, all the photos, all the video footage, stewards' uh, evidence, the headed letters from my two adjudicators and a, dis uh, a description of everything that they had, all our timings as well, an inventory of everything that I had to submit. Um, yeah, almost 4,000 photos, one by one. So you know why it took me so long to do it. That's right, it took a while. But Sunday night, it was all done. It went all to Guinness. They started looking at it Tuesday morning. There was a big kind of uh, employee kind of thing on uh, Monday morning, according to their head PR department who have been in contact with me regarding this get this, this world record. Um, so they couldn't do anything about it on Monday. So they had it all on Tuesday. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, it's a bit scary. As you can tell, I'm very nervous because I'm jabbering on and being a bit like an idiot. So I don't know when I'll hear. It is literally in their hands now. <laughs> there is nothing more I can do. I have to just sit back and wait. How I am sleeping, I don't know. I really can't sleep at the moment. It is literally, I have nails. How have I got nails? I don't quite know how I've got nails. I shouldn't have any left. I should have bit them all off by now. But unfortunately, um, I'm, when I say unfortunately, fortunately, I'm staying sane. <laughs> I'm sure I'm staying sane. But there is something I want to tell you about today. Today is my Yes, I am 39 today. Can you believe it? Almost 40. And you know what? I've never had a birthday party. And for my 40th, I wanted a Harry Potter birthday party. So I better get one because otherwise I'm going to go mad. So let's get on with the show, shall we? So I normally start my videos off by being quite calm and, and normal. And then I kind of go a little bit crazy like I've just come from St. Mongo's. Um, so I apologize for that, but I get so excited doing them because I'm so happy to show you guys these things. And here you have it. The stunningly beautiful Hogwarts Castle replica by Noble Collection. This is absolutely stunning. Not even a little bit stunning, not even half stunning, not even full stunning. It is oversized stunning. This item is £280 in Noble Collection. I think it's about $289 in America and £280 in the UK. 
this is beautiful it's very heavy i'm gonna have muscle like this by the time this video's finished but as you can see it is a full replica of the castle the story goes uh, back in the, uh, well, we don't know when in the 10th century, but we know in the 10th century, um, the four founders of Hogwarts, Rowena Ravenclaw, Salazar Slytherin, Godric Gryffindor, and Helga Hufflepuff created Hogwarts Castle, the Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. There was a bit of a problem with witches being targeted um, back in the 10th century, according to Pottermore. Now, according to Pottermore, if a muggle was going to walk towards the castle, all they would see is because obviously it had a number of charms around it, all they would see was ruins of a building and then danger keep out so they wouldn't enter. But it's a fascinating idea. Now, after the creation of Hogwarts, as you well know, there was a problem between the four houses. Now, first of all, they were very good friends, two wizards and two witches. They were very, very good friends, but however, just after Hogwarts was created, there was a problem with obviously Salazar Slytherin, who wanted to be more selective with his students or with the students that came to Hogwarts. Now, of course, the other three were more than happy for Muggleborns and Half-Bloods to be introduced to Hogwarts, to be invited to learn at Hogwarts. But Salazar Slytherin, you know what he was like, he only wanted pure bloods. Now, according to Dumbledore, this is Dumbledore, all-knowing, all-wonderful Dumbledore, he didn't actually know about half of the secrets that Hogwarts was hiding. The four founders of Hogwarts had really gone to town with the magic of Hogwarts and the secrets. You've got the Room of Requirements, you've got the, is it the Seven Hidden Passageways? Um, and there are far more secrets. Again, who put the curse on the, the, the school where you could apparate in and out of Hogwarts? So it's quite kind of, um, it's quite, it's quite mysterious. Now I've been doing a bit of reading on Pottermore. If you want to find out more, the link will be below regarding the castle. It's an amazing story, an amazing building. Did you know though, that you can't physically recreate Hogwarts. According to architects, it is an architect's nightmare. There are actually too many towers for the building to be able to support itself, so you would never able, you would never be able to build a real Hogwarts. How sad is that? If I suddenly won like millions and millions and millions, I couldn't go out and just make myself a Hogwarts. I'd be devastated. That's the first thing I'd want to do. And a giant library. I love books, as you can tell over there. I love books. But yeah, how sad is that? That according to architects, there is no way you could actually build Hogwarts in full because the towers would be too unstable. Now the Hogwarts Castle by Noble Collection, beautiful. I actually got this from the two broomsticks um, who are amazing to me, they're so good. The Hogwarts Castle actually comes off its base. So you have a nice black velvet base there and it goes on the wooden stand with the stand that has Hogwarts going around it. And I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. But at the moment, I want to show you the castle as it is. Look at that. How beautiful is that? It is a dust trap, I have to tell you, but the best way to clean it is a makeup brush. It's great. So as you go around, you've got the, the little boathouse around there. you go around I love the fact that it's got the steps going up that the first years go up when they arrive in their boats in the Black Lake did you know the Black Lake was filmed in by Glenfin Viaduct did you know that I went there and they did boat trips it looks beautiful it's so like Goblet of Fire now as you go around obviously you have the bridge there as you can see I'm being very careful because if I drop this it will smash it's very delicate, but it's also incredible. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but Hagrid's hut is actually just down there. How amazing is that? Now, I will do some close-ups for you so you can have a really good look. Have a really good look. Um, a few people I have heard that aren't happy about the paint job that Noble Collection have done, but I really like it. It's very watery. So I love that, so I'm happy with mine. I really do, and I'm quite honest about Noble Collection. Come on now, the amount of times I've complained 
Okay, so here we have, if you remember the scene in Prisoner of Azkaban where Hermione confronts Draco by the stones when he says, Hey, come to see the show, you foul, loathe and evil little cockroach. Ah, come to see the show. You, you foul, loathe and evil little cockroach. Hermione, no. And she punches him right there. <laughs> which is brilliant that you have that and of course later on in the film spoiler alert when they go back in time and um, they hide just in that section there when harry and hermione go back in time to see draco and they run towards them now this is beautiful you have the whomping willow just here the detail is astronomical it is gorgeous and of course the great hall just there it's brilliant you have, oh, I'll have to go around to it afterwards, we've got the courtyard with the fountain. Where um, Sirius Black escapes with on, on, on Buckbeak, as you see, and he says, you really are the brightest witch of your age. And there you have the owl reef, you can see that just there. absolutely gorgeous you have steps you can't see it here I would try and do a close-up but you actually have steps going up to the owlry now as you go around you have all sorts of things that you can see it's trying to get a good grip now if you go to the Warner Brothers Studios in Watford London you will actually see this in far more detail obviously it is what they call a bigature a giant miniature of Hogwarts. Now as you go around you can just about make out there the tower where Sirius Black is um, imprisoned but ready to receive the kiss of the Dementors right there where um, Hermione and Harry break him out of Hogwarts. Bombarda! Bombarda! And then we have all of the greenhouses just here which you saw in my uh, Severus Saturday vlog. And as you go around you can see the astronomy tower there as well. I think that's the astronomy tower. And you go around and you're back to the beginning again. It is a beautiful, beautiful item. Now somebody messaged me yesterday to say that they've actually found one on eBay for half the price and it was brand new. So even though it's £280 in the UK, you may find it cheaper. Don't give up hope, it'll be there. So keep checking if you can't afford to get it for the full price, because it is expensive, but my God, I've had this three years, I think. Is it four years, three years? And I'll tell you something, it will never, I will never, ever, ever regret buying this. It is stunning. is very very simple it is a wooden base obviously and you have underneath Harry Potter written here noble collection and so on and then you have the lovely brass detail going around the base itself and obviously you have the Hogwarts written at the front but it is a beautifully displayed piece now did you know though that this is actually the second time that this castle was released the first time was for actually, I think it's, I think, I'm just, I'm kind of trying to remember now. The first one that was released um, was a, um, a, in a glass dome or a perspex dome. It had Hogwarts cast, exactly the same as I've just showed you. But under here, there was a drawer and inside that drawer that you pulled out was, I think it's DVD's one to five box set. That, that can normally go for about five, 600 pound that set. But my God, it's beautiful. This one, again, it's 280 
if you're um, and pounds if you're in the US it's 289 I think but it is so so worth it it's a beautiful beautiful piece so as I normally do I normally say don't I that I highly recommend getting this item now if you watch my Severus Saturday vlog it was all about my glass cabinets and I most of it is noble collection in there because I absolutely love their replicas um, I explained in the vlog before that Noble Collection are really lovely because they will get either the replica item, well obviously they can't get the replica item in Hogwarts Castle, it's a little bit big to put in the post, but they get detailed photos of the item, the replica that they are trying to produce, and then they replicate them. So they really are the true replicas and they are just incredible. They are officially licensed, fully licensed by, uh, by Warner Brothers, obviously, and JK Rowling, of course, um, otherwise I wouldn't bother. As you know me, I'm a proper license freak. I prefer my official items. But this is just, wow. Now you guys are gonna think I'm a bit crazy because this just goes to show, I, I like to think what a lovely mum I am. I bought this three years ago and I think I paid around 200 pound for it. It was a lot of money back then for me. It's a lot of money for me now being a student. I love my kids that much that I allowed my child, my youngest, Harry, to use this castle as a Lego base. That is how nice I am to my children. But to be fair, my kids are so good with my items and he was so good. None of this broke, but <laughs> I, want, I was asked to take my items to a Comic-Con to show people only a few items and I decided to take the Hogwarts Castle replica. Uh-huh. Well, silly me, as I was putting it in the car, if you can see there, the top of that turret snapped off. I, we're talking something like that big. I was searching in my car almost all day trying to find it and um, because I just wanted to use a little bit of super glue to put it back on. I was gutted and that was me. My kids, no, they treated it with so much respect. They are such good kids. It is an amazing item. You need to get it. You need to get it. As we're showing Hogwarts Castle replicas, this one is such a cute one. Just turn the lights down for you to see this properly because I was getting a bit of glare. As we're talking about Hogwarts Castles, this is an exclusive item to the Wizarding World in Florida. It is a Hogwarts Castle bauble and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think I paid about $15 for this out in Florida when I went and they are silly money if you try to buy them from over here So I'm very lucky, but I love my Hogwarts castles and this one is one of my favorites It goes in with my snow globes just because it's so so beautiful now for those of you who think that 280 pound is a little bit too expensive for them check out this Hallmark castle This is a Christmas decoration by Hallmark um, it is just a plastic decoration that plays the music. When you hang it on your Christmas tree, you can put lights in there and the inside of the castle lights up. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let me shock you now, if you didn't watch my last uh, Severus Saturday vlog, these go for around 550 pound. It's plastic, my God, what is wrong with you people? It's plastic. When for half that price, you could get a Hogwarts Castle replica by Noble Collection, and it's far nicer. This is lovely, but why is it 550 pound? Now you don't, you know, you can be lucky and you can find them for much cheaper. I bought this for 50, and for me, that was a lot for a Christmas decoration. But 550 pound roughly they go for now. That is just bizarre, absolutely bizarre. I just don't get it. I, I, I'm, I'm a collector, that is what I do. And I still don't get that. So as much as this is beautiful, I'd rather have the Hogwarts Castle replica by Noble Collection. So coming this Severus Saturday, I take you back in time, 18 years of collecting, showing you items like this. Now this is a wonderful platform nine and three quarters snow globe by the San Francisco Music Box. It is beautiful. I love to show you this in full, but I'm not going to until Severus Saturday. So you'll have to watch from 6 p.m. on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. 
invite your friends and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section what did you think of this video what would you like me to cover until then thank you so much take care i love you all and i'll speak to you very soon